Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How was that day? Nice. Very nice. Good evening. Really, really great. Or so so. Very good. Very good, teacher. That's very nice. Okay, today we have. Yes, let me. Just uh, the platform is loading, está cargando, y acá se me en el menú. Here is screen. Here we have from Google. Okay, this is again. Okay, what we're gonna do now is say uh, yesterday we listened to to this uh let's say this reading. And now is the same uh, exercise, but now it's in the reading section and we have to answer some some questions. Okay. Good. So I'm going to to play the video again. Me voy a poner el video nuevamente porque es lo mismo. Para que se refresquen. De qué se trata cada una de las lecturas, right? So let's see here. And then we go to the answers. Questions and answers. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 a.m. When do your classes end? They end at noon. I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Josh? What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight. Around one, I take a lunch break. How okay. late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. And I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. Did you have problems with the audio? No. So, yeah, then. 
¿Lo escuchaban bien? No, teacher. No, se escuchaba como un poco de No, no lo último se escuchó bien. Ok, ok. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí se escucha bien. Ok, ok. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading? What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, website designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. Okay, now with that information, which is the same that we have in the, in the next one. Now we're going to answer the questions. Here we are, okay? We're gonna try to expand it a little bit more. So Brittany Davis, then it says she goes, she goes to class. She takes the bus to work, she studies, and she gets up. Remember that here, what we're trying to do is to find the sequence of events, right? So read the article, then number the activities in each person's schedule, select the number from one to five. Okay, so which is the first one? Here. Which is the first one? Is that the order? He gets up is number one. Okay, so is he already? Number one. Okay, number two. He go around is number two. She takes the bus. Take the bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. She goes to class. Is this, is this the correct order? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, we'll see. Then what about this one? Joshua. Number one, he, yes. so, he has one. up. Number one, he gets up. He okay. has gets up. He up. gets up. up. Eight. Okay, Eight. number two. Number two, he goes, he goes for, for a room. He goes. Goes for a for a round. He goes for a round. Okay, good. Number three, he has, has a, a breakfast. breakfast. 
She has breakfast. A breakfast. Breakfast. A breakfast. Okay, very good. Number four. She is start work. work. She starts. She starts work. Okay. Number five, he eats dinner. He eats dinner. Okay, there you go. Uh, we'll see, right? So we're doing this one. Then we have Maya. Maya Black. My gem. She goes to work. Two. She, she goes to work. Oh, she goes to work. That's a number one. Number one. Okay. Number two, she, she finishes, finishes work. work. She finishes work. She finishes work. Okay. Number three, she has dinner. She has dinner. Yes. Okay. Number four. Number four, she goes she home. home. She goes home. <laughs> And number five? And number five, she's, she's going, going to be. She goes to be. Okay. Now we'll see if we have the right answers here. Fran Voila. Very good, people. Excellent. Congratulations. 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 Okay. Uh, Let's say this is a virtual, a virtual clap, okay, for everyone. Very good, well done. Okay, good. So this is the sequence of event organized activities, okay, that we do every day. Okay, so who wants to, okay, and we finish, with this one we finish section one. Okay, this is the end of section one, the next one is the next topic will be in section two. Yes, okay, so that's the section two and then we have a different topic, okay. But before we go to, before we go to that topic, Okay, volunteers. ¿Quién quiere decirme el, eh, el say your, today's activity? Lo que hicieron hoy. Así en tres o cuatro hey, veces. Tres o cuatro veces. Okay, Mayra, go ahead. Mayra, Bilorio. Hey. Bilorio, right? Yes. Go. Yes. Bueno, dice. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for telling about place in houses and apartments. Okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, in this moment, Mayra, uh, tell me today's activities, las actividades de hoy, today's hoy, your activity. Después vamos a ver eso. Okay. Okay. That's it, Chair. Mayra, and then English. El, el horario, ¿verdad, profe? Yes, that's correct. Uh, half past four, give my cat breakfast. Okay. And six, six a.m., get up and shower. Okay. Um, seven twenty-five, breakfast. Mm hmm Half past A, do the housework All right. or in my living. 12 o'clock is my lunch. Okay. Half past two, go to the gym. Uh, half past four, shower and watching TV. Okay, very good. Uh, Six, make the dinner and eight o'clock starting my English class. English class. And now you're here. Uh, your but nine p.m. Share for game. 
as a family. Okay. And 11 o'clock, do a sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. So that's a lot of details. Very good. Nice, nice. Thank you. Okay. Ingrid said you wanted to say you were sleeping too. Okay. I arrived at work at uh, 8 o'clock. Yes. Uh, I lunch at uh, 12 noon. 12 noon. I arrived at chick. Uh, I arrived at chick. Chick took. Chick cook at 50, 50 30 p.m. By 30, 30 p.m. I have dinner at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I have English class at 8 p.m. Okay. <laughs> I fall asleep at uh, 10. 10, 10, 10 p.m. Okay, good. Uh, Johanna, you also said you wanted to share your sentences? Teacher, yo yes. hice una también. Ah, okay, no, uh -huh. okay. Perfecto, <laughs> go, yes, go, go. No, si es voluntario, okay. No es que me pareció haber visto a Johanna, pero, pero puede hacerlo después, no problem, Johanna. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sí, go ahead. Ahí, ahí me corrige. No, so, go ahead. Bye. Eh, yo le hice solo de un día, digamos. Yes. Este, I, I get, I got, got, no, ¿cómo es? Get up. I got, get up, get up, get get up. up. este, um, ajá, I, I get up at 16, 10 p.m. At 6, eh, 10 p.m. Um, no. Sí, ah, se me olvidó. A shower. Six. Ah, okay. Sí, pues, no, no, no. Espérame, espérame. Espérame. I take... I no, no voy a ir a trabajar sin bañar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> el revés. Okay. <laughs> okay. You say, for example, uh, I get up. I get up at uh, six o'clock. Okay. Se levanta, at six right? At six o'clock, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I take a shower. I take a shower at uh -huh. six. Say... Uh, a.m. Okay, I have, I ate my breakfast at uh, 10 o'clock. Okay. I go to work at 7, 7 a.m. I ate, I lunch at 12 o'clock. Okay. I take it a breakfast at four o'clock in afternoon. I have dinner at 77 730 p.m. PM. I brush brush my my teeth. Chin, de lavarse los dientes, my no sé I brush my teeth. Ah, pues. I brush my teeth at 8 o'clock. I watch TV of, of 8 and, and 19 o'clock. I go to, to uh -huh, um, I go to sleep uh, at 9.30. 930. Okay. Ok, mm. solo me preocupa que, no que, si tuvo, que tuvo dos, dos desayunos. Uno en la mañana y uno en la tarde. <risa> no, sé. no, no, yo quería una refrigerio. Okay, ¿El de las cuatro qué era? ¿Qué era el de las cuatro? Refrigerio. Ah, ok. Yo, refrigerio. Ese es snack. Ajá, pero yo le puse. Ah, ok. O coffee, es a coffee break. Ah, o coffee ya. break. Ok. Coffee um, and then no four o'clock. I say, have my coffee break. Okay, so that's good. Excellent. That's mm. nice. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, Maria Jose, go ahead. Tell me. Uh, 
La num uh, number one, uh, okay. my breath breakfast at eight a.m. Okay. Uh, number two, I made my danger lunch at um twelve noon. Number three, what do you? Do? Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, three, um, number three, what? What do you do did at 10 a.m. for I took a shower at 3 p.m. Okay. In number five, my class in the English start at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Okay, very good. And then you have the well, you have the long thank you the shower at three o'clock, and then your class. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Maria Jose. Okay. Well, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más quiere ¿Quién más quiere compartir? What you did during the day? Uh, practice, practice. This is the moment. Okay, it's my turn. Very good, Melvin. Excellent. Thank ya, you. Ya yo que nos estamos quedando tras los caballeros. Vamos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. I get up at 5 and 30 a.m. In the morning, all right. And I go to run. And before take a bus to my work, mm -hmm. I work at the bookstore. Mm -hmm. And I start work at a eight a.m. Okay. Around to nine at nine a.m. I take a break. Okay. And at noon. I take a breakfast, break lunch, Perto. Uh, Sorry. A lunch. I take, a, I take my lunch. Uh -huh, I take my lunch. Um, I end to work until 6 p.m. o'clock. 6 p.m. Okay. Okay. I have the dinner at 7 p.m. And I take uh, my English class at 8 o'clock. And I go to bed at 10 in the night. Okay, very good. Thank you, Melvin. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. You know, eh, en todas las que están hablando, están dando muchos detalles y eso es bueno y llevan una secuencia lógica, right? Just remember that. Breakfast, eh, coffee break, lunch, eh, si tienen otro coffee break, and then you have uh, dinner. Dinner. Uh, dinner, yes. Those are the breakfast, coffee break, lunch, coffee break, dinner. Okay, and then, uh, well, before that, honey, get up, take a shower. A uh, montón de, de tires, right? Get the skills, get dressed, uh, brush, uh, have breakfast, brush your teeth, take the bath, then uh, have a coffee, start work. Okay, there are many things, but this is the organization in our brain or in our mind. Okay, good. Anybody else? Uno más? Who wants to participate? No. Okay, then. Vamos a ir a, um, a la sección dos. Pero antes voy a, voy a, voy a tomar una pincha para la consistencia y pasarla después. Just let me take it now. And this one. Okay, we have one more. Here. This is the second one. It's something very pretty. Oh, 
Okay, and one more, the last one. Here we go. Okay, people, good. Now we're going to go to go to section two. And now Dike Mayra was going to read the the objective, okay? So here we go. Okay, Mayra, now you can read. Ahora leo el objetivo. And uh, this uh, by as an objective. Yes. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about place in houses and apartments. Okay, good. So this is vocabulary so that we can talk about places in houses and apartments. Okay. For example, what are some uh, of these words that we can talk about inside a house or inside the apartment? So we have uh, the dining room, living room, kitchen. These are the spaces that we have in the house. Or if we live in an apartment, then the spaces that we have in that apartment, right? Now, listen to this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. What rooms are in your apartment? The apartment. Okay. Apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Okay, these are the common places, right? These are the common places that we have in a house or apartment. Okay, son como los más generales, right? We have living room. Okay, dining room. The kitchen. The laundry room, the stairs, the garage. Then you have a bedroom. This is the first floor. This is a of people. Right? First floor, second floor. Have the garage, the bathroom, the closet, another bedroom. Okay, another bedroom. A uh, hall. Then the stairs. The start the stairs and the bathroom. Okay, esta es una casa de dos pisos, right? ¿Alguna pregunta con el vocabulary? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. um, yard is the same of garden. Uh, yes, es un patio, right? Depends on, ahí depende cómo uno lo. Eh, ¿Qué tan.? Yeah, adornado esté, right? Porque si solo es el puro cemento, gran, grama, podría ser solamente un patio, right? 
But if you put flowers here and then it looks more like a garden. Yeah, one garden just a mass, you know, flores, macetas, right? So you have the pots and flowers. Very similar. Okay, thank you. Okay. What else? Come on. Laundry room. Yes. Es el cuarto de lavado. Exacto, laundry room, ahí está la secadora y la lavadora, right? Okay, thank you. Yes. La parte del closet, ¿se pronuncia hole? A la parte de? H-A-L-L. Ah, hole, the hole. Uh -huh. Closet and the hole. Okay, el hole es como... ¿Qué un significa? Un salón, un pasillo. Ok. Ah, ok. Yes. Un salón, pero que solo es para circular, right? O oh. un pasillo. Ok, so this one is in the, in the house. Ok, these are places. And then we also have... Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, and we also have the apartment. Okay, in the apartment is a smaller. Okay, we have the bedroom. Then you have the living room, the dining room, a closet, and a bathroom. Okay. This is for one sola person, right? Or maybe two. Okay, bedroom, closet, dining room the bathroom and the living room. Okay. Is this familiar to what we have in El Salvador, in our country? La, the house and the apartment? Son similar? Okay. Aquí las casas, aquí, creo que la mayoría parecen más apartamentos, ¿verdad? La gran mayoría que tenemos es eso. Eh, las casas de segunda planta son, son menos, right? las de una son mucho small. Vamos desde small a probably, what, medium size. How many rooms? El máximo que tiene una casa son tres, ¿verdad? A veces hay apartamentos con dos. Okay? La mayoría son dos. Ok, the majority. Ya solo si es pequeñito para una persona es común, right? And then you have one. La mayoría sí. Y el siguiente es three. Ok. Good. Questions? No more questions. Out oh, here in the, in the apartment, also we have the lobby. Este es un edificio de apartamento, right? Eh, acá hay ahora. Son super caros, right? We have a lobby. Es como la estancia, right? La, la recepción. De un edificio, right? The lobby. Uh, mm -hmm. Fisher. Yes, Maria. Um, what is the what is it? Kitchen. The kitchen, okay. La cocina, okay. The room, mm -hmm. the room for cooking. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it's the okay. Thank you. That's the kitchen. Okay, then you have the bathroom. Then you have the bed. Okay, then once you have the vocabulary here says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to respond yes, no question in the simple present. Additionally, okay, additionally. Uh, you will by by the end of the class, you will learn how do you respond to yes? No question in the same presence. Addition, additionally, you will practice uh, practice a converse, conversion. Conversation. About and the conversation. Uh -huh, about an apartment. 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 Which illustrates illustrate 
how this topic is used in the real life setting. Setting, okay. So then now you will listen to the conversation. And now we have yes, no questions. No questions for you. Okay. Now listen. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question. Do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes he does or negative by saying no he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. This is what we're going to do now. Okay, you can see the, the word document, yeah? Yes. Okay. 
Díganme verbos, así, cualquier verbo que se le venga a la mente ahorita. Run. Ok, run. Drink. Drink. Yum. Drive. Crawl. Listen. Yum. 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 Eat. Walk. Walk. Wall. Ok, Good. walk. Play. Play. Yes, Maria. Wash. Wash. Dance. Dance. Come. Come. Swim. Yeah, swim. Swim. Work. And work. See. Work and see. Okay. Okay. Learn. Yeah. You can learn. Okay, now we have, how many verbs do we have here? We have uh, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, okay? Now, for example, question, using do. Vamos a practicar, vamos a practicar primero, fíjense, solo pre preguntas con do. ¿Eh? Podemos poner, do you... Do you run in the morning? Okay. Do you run in the morning? Question. Another question. Do your uh, sisters plural, run in the morning? Okay, and then you have your one. Okay. What else? So here we had two questions, huh? Teacher. Yes. Te, yo, a mí siempre me ha costado el do. Este, mm -hmm. siempre tiene que ir do. O sea, ¿por qué no, no se pone un solo corres tú por la mañana? Ah, oh, okay. Porque este se necesita en, en español porque corre, nosotros con, con, el verbo con, jugamos, conjugamos los verbos. Por ejemplo, si usted me dice corres en la mañana, sé que se está refiriendo a mí. Eh, si, yo, si yo digo, por ejemplo, corren, ustedes corren en la, en la, en la mañana, me estoy refiriendo al plural, a ustedes. Eh, si yo digo, no, dice que nosotros no, que eh, ellos corren, ellos corren en la mañana corren ellos en la mañana, entonces ellos, nosotros conjugamos los verbos, eh, necesitamos utilizar mucho los, los sujetos o los pronombres, y para hacer preguntas solo ponemos el verbo antes, eh, come usted temprano, entonces no necesitamos un verbo auxiliar, y en inglés pues no tienen esa conjugación de los verbos, por eso que siempre tienen que usar el do cuando es una pregunta en presente. Y se utiliza, por eso lo estoy poniendo acá ahora, vamos a, dije, vamos a apreciar solo con el do, porque aquí se usa you, ¿cuál otro? They, eh, we, we, el you, y se usa el you en plural. Ah, bueno, y el I. Ok, el I. Es singular, pero se usa do. El do es singular, se usa do. They es plural. We es plural. Y el otro you es el plural de ustedes. O vos, vosotros. Right? Then we say I, you. Entonces, con estas palabras utilizamos el do. Ya si queremos hablar de él, de ella, o de un animalito, o de alguna cosa, usamos it. So we have to, she, it. Nice. Entonces, pero ahorita, ajá, pero yo entiendo esa muy buena pregunta, porque por eso le dije, ahorita vamos a practicar verbos 
y pregunta con Dios, porque yo sé que eso necesita que uno lo practique, lo practique porque es completamente diferente a nuestro idioma. Entonces, hay que hacer que, el, el, como decimos en español, que el, que el cerebro cambie y se hacer. A que cuando se usa inglés, estamos con do you run. Así siempre el do you en una pregunta. Do you, do you, do you. O do they, do we. Okay. Entonces, acá le pongo do you run in the morning. Me refiero a, puede ser usted. Ok, y esta es otra cuestión. Que, por ejemplo, si yo le digo, eh, Melvin, Melvin, do you run in the morning? Yes, I do. Ok, entonces, este you que está aquí se refiere a Melvin. Es singular. Ok. And then, pero si yo digo eh, María José, María José, you there? Like, María José, do you have sisters? María José, no. Yes, yes. Ok, yes. Yes, I have sisters. Then, do your sisters run in the morning? Aquí me estoy refiriendo a sus hermanas. Corran sus hermanas en la mañana. Do your sisters. Ok, me, me refiero a sus hermanas que son ellas. Ok, así que si yo cambiara your sisters aquí por un pronombre, yo acá tendría que usar they. Ok. Entonces, mm -hmm. eso, eso es lo que hay que, digamos, como que practicar para que se quede retenido en nuestra mente, right, in our brain, el uso del do you. Ok. Ok. Ahora, preguntas con dream. Solo do, solo con do. Do. Lo que se le venga a la mente. Do. Do you drink alcohol? Okay, do you drink? Do you drink do milk you, in the morning? Wait. Do you drink oh, uh, milk in the morning? Alcohol is not no problem. Do you drink milk? Do you drink milk? Toma leche? Okay. Uh, do your children? Ok, do the children. Do the children eh, drink? Eh, what? Juice? Orange? Coffee? Orange, oh, coffee. Ok. Coffee. Right? Do the children drink coffee? Toma café los niños. Okay, cuando vienen a visitarlo con un montón de niños jóvenes, bueno, hey, toma café los niños. Ah, sí, ya van a estar más la casa en la noche. Right? Bien interactivo. How interactive, not sleep. <laughs> okay, do the children drink coffee? Otra. Otra pregunta con drink. Do you drink vodka? Okay. Sí, eso es lo que yo quiero. Do you drink... No, no que yo quiero vodka, sino que... Que sean creativos. Okay, lo que se les venga a la mente. Do you drink uh, vodka? Okay. Good. Jump. Do you drink? Do you jump in the park? Did you jump in the park? Eh, María José se lo había cortado. Did you jump in the park? Ok, good. Saltas en el parque. Yeah. Para todo eso. Right? Good. Do you jump in the park? Fíjense cuánto, cuánto vocabulario están ahí practicando ahí está Run in the morning, sister, children, drink, milk, coffee, jump, park. O sea, todo este vocabulario que ya lo tienen. ¿Qué más? Do you, do you jump the window? Do you jump? Okay. Do you jump through the window? 
Then we have a question mark. ¿Qué significa trunk? No, true. Buena pregunta. A través. A través. A través. Uh -huh. You jump through the window. Jump. Ok. Saltas por la... Se traduciría como por. Saltas por la ventana. A través. Oh. Uh -huh. No se dice... Do you jump? En inglés, por ejemplo, van, si ustedes buscan en el diccionario la palabra por, van a encontrar por. Pero si ustedes dicen, do you jump for the window? No es correcto. Porque yo trabajo por mi familia, por my family. Ok, pero yo no salto por mi familia. Es like, do you jump for your family? No. O sea, el por es común. Ejemplo, si yo, yo hago algo por alguien. Ok. Entonces, para referirse a, a un por de a través, es el true. Ok, walk. Podría ser, podría ser una... Uh, do the horse jump. Uh -huh. bueno, do the horse eh, jump. Ok, vamos a hacer... Está bien, solo que vamos a hacer en plural. Do the horses jump. Do the horses jump. And then we have the question mark. Yes. The horses, porque si, no, si decimos solo horse, tendríamos que usar das. Esa la vamos a ver después. Ahorita, ahorita vamos a hacer solo con Ok. Bueno, bueno. bueno. ¿Cuál otra? Walk. Do, do we, do we walk, walk uh, to the school? Ok. Good. Do we walk? Do we walk, walk to school? To school. Ok, we walk to school. Do we walk to school? Ok. Caminamos al estudio. Do you walk in the park? Ok, very nice. Do you... Bueno, para cambiar pongamos do they. They walk in the park. Para que vean los pronombres que se pueden usar. Also... At night. Do they walk? Very good. Do they walk at night? Okay. No question mark. Para vean que siempre hay una un signo de interrogación al final. En español son dos, pero no hemos acostumbrado a poner solo uno. Ok, en español va el del inicio y al final. En inglés solo va el del final. Ok, do they walk at night? Y ya se le da la información con Do we walk to school? Do they walk in the park? Ok, and then say do they walk at night? So we are using the, the question mark. What else? Now let's say play. Do we play soccer today? Okay, do we play soccer? Okay, good. Do, the people do play I play his mother? Uh, yes, Mayra, and then Bendy. Mayra? Hay una voz femenina antes. Baby plays with his mother. Ah, ok. Va, esa sería, la voy a poner acá y después la voy a borrar. Does the baby play with his mother. Ok, ¿por qué no pertenece esta pregunta a, este, a esto que estamos haciendo? La pregunta está... Perfecto. Has the baby played with his mother? Pero ¿por qué? Porque estamos hablando de él. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de él, tercera persona. Exacto. Tercera persona. Yeah. Y, ahorita, y ahorita no estamos. De tercera persona. Exactamente. Entonces, esa está bien, pero para el siguiente ejercicio. Right. Good. Uh, Melvin. Um, do I play 
PlayStation Now? Do I play? I play PlayStation Now? Okay. There you go. Así se pronuncia. Do I? Yes, that's right. Ah, okay. Do I play? Esa es una pregunta a sí misma. Juego yo. Así. Que... Un poco común, un poco común la pregunta, porque... pero a menos que uno le diga cuando uno está discutiendo con alguien, dice, ¿do I say that? O cuando le pregunta a alguien, ¿do I say that? Por ejemplo, cuando dice, mira, siempre haces lo mismo, ¿do I do that? Hago eso, no me doy cuenta. ¿Ok? Se puede usar. Good. What else? Okay. You play Monopoly. Ok, good. Yes, I do. I like it. Do you play <laughs> Monopoly? Very nice. Oh, no. Yes, and also, también. <laughs> ah, ya lo voy a retar a todos a Monopoly y a jugar uno. Okay. Virtual Retamos one. El reto. Yeah, good. Good, good. Do you play chess? Do you play chess? Also, yes. Good. Do you play chess? Okay. So you see, this is do you, do you, do we, do they. We can use sujetos, nombres de personas, right? Do yeah. Peter. Do Peter and Jane uh, wash the dishes? There you go. Okay. Dishes is dientes. No, this is a uh, eh, traste. 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 Uh -huh. Dientes, ¿cómo se dice? Teeth. Perdón. Voy a poner acá, teeth. Lo voy a poner acá, pero sería con otro verbo. Aquí lo voy a poner dos. Uh -huh. Do you brush your teeth? Sí. Es sí. es plural. Okay, si solo es uno, si solo es uno se dice two. Okay. Okay. Do you brush your teeth? Plural. Se cepilla los dientes. Do you brush your teeth? Se cepilla el diente. Al dedito. Okay. Sí. What else? Uh, do Alonso. I the wash ya no, teacher. No, it's okay. Okay, yes. Do Alonso. Do Alonso wash the motorcycle. Another person. Do. Do Alonso and. Has to be plural. And. Um, Mayra. Okay. Okay, and Mayra. How could you say to Alon to Alonso and his wife? Okay, to Alonso and his wife. Wash the car. Wash the car. Uh huh. For the motorcycle. So do Alonso and Mayra wash the motorcycle? Okay. Para cuando se usa el do, tienen que ser dos personas. Okay. Do we. Okay. Puede ser, por ejemplo. Do. Uh, let's say do. Tom. Do Tom and I. Aquí, por ejemplo, do Tom and I. Wash. The. Floor. Clouds. The clothes. The clothes. The clothes. Okay, the clothes. Uh -huh. our, our, the bathroom. The bathroom. Uh -huh. Or our clothes. clothes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. There you go. Did Tom and I wash our clothes? Okay. Okay. Bueno, ¿cómo se lo vamos a hacer? Lo voy a... Voy a ponerles esto ahí en el chat. 
ustedes lo van lo llenan acá, por ejemplo, cada una. Para que practiquen. ¿no? Entonces, si la van contestando. Por ejemplo, do I run in the morning? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. O negativo. No. No, I no, no, I don't. No, I don't. Ok. No, I don't. Do your sisters run in the morning? Affirmative. Yes. Yes, I do. They. Yes. Okay, yes, they. Tus hermanas. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. No. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's no, they don't. Okay. Entonces ustedes pueden practicar acá ya contestando las preguntas. Bien, ahorita solo vamos con yes, they do, no, they don't. Y luego acá van a hacer lo mismo con este. Y con el. Ajá, la van separando acá para. para Ahí sube la pantalla para copiar los otros verbos. No, ya se lo voy a poner todo el documento que hay en el WhatsApp. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Ya lo voy a compartir para que lo tengan. Y ahí mismo lo van llenando. Ya solo les queda de responder las preguntas y luego ustedes hagan las preguntas con estas para que practiquen. Y mañana podemos mm -hmm. usar esto para, para practicar y jugar. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. No okay. No problem. Ok. No question. No, okay. no question, teacher. Okay, very nice people. Thank you very much. No question, teacher. Okay, thank you. Bueno, gracias. Por okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.